Hello, this is Mr. Reynolds, and we are in the biology lab right now, and we are going to dissect an eye because an eye is cool. Okay. First of all, I have to bring the camera over here at the book. Look at a big picture. These are things that we're going to see. This is one of the coolest dissections because you pretty much see everything. Uh, all these things are there. We're going to see that we're going to. It's going to be cut off here, so I have to move some tissue out of the way, and we'll get to see the back of the optic nerve as it goes into the eye. Okay. And this is going to be what tracks the. Um, what tracks the sensory impulses for vision up to the brain, okay? Uh, we looked at rods and cones that are here on the retina. Uh, this innermost lining of it that contains photoreceptor cells. And you're going to see this easily pull away. The other day, I gave you the analogy of uh, like a black garbage bag in a trash can. Can you look over there? The black garbage bag in the trash can where there's no fibers hooking that to the trash can. If you filled it with water... Uh, the weight of the water is shoving the plastic bag against the trash can. If there's a little cut in there, the water would seep behind it and that plastic bag would come sloughing off. And that would be a detached retina. So you'll see once I stick the probe in the eye and, and pull that, it's going to very easily come out. I won't have to tug it much at all. Here's the lens. We're going to pop that out. We're going to cut around the cornea first of all. Okay, and that's the clear portion of the eye. The space between the color part, you're going to see that clearly. You're going to see the iris going all the way around it, and then you'll see the space in the middle of the pupil. Uh, you'll see how clear this cornea is. Well, it's kind of, these are old eyes, <clears throat> so uh, it's a little bit cloudy. But otherwise, it'd be clear, clear fluid through the lens, clear gel hitting the back of the retina, Okay. When we look in the retina, you will see a yellow spot, uh, depending on which way I have the eyeball turned, let's say up here. That's going to be the macula lutea, and the very central of it is going to be the fovea centralis, and that's where most of the uh, very, very high concentration of cones, okay? Um, all right, let's get to, uh, we had ciliary muscles, ciliary body, ciliary muscles, suspensory ligaments, that attach to the lens that help it change shape when we're accommodating. Um, the white part of the eye that you can see is going to be the sclera. We said the sclera in the front anterior portion, it changes clear. It loses its whitish color, so it's, it's clear, so light rays can come through it like a window. Okay, uh, let's dissect the eye. Okay. Now, I thought I had a bucket of eyes. I didn't. There was nothing in there but liquid. But I found this bag of old cow eyes. And so it's, it's a little bit dry. But still, you can see plenty of stuff around it. You can see the wide of the eye. I'm pressing on the back of it right now to push some of the fluid forward a little bit. And the first thing I'm going to do is cut around the iris. Okay. I'm going to make a little incision. And I'm going to make an incision all the way around the iris. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. All the way around the this edge of the cornea. And this one's not real sharp. I need to be careful. So I'm trying to keep my fingers well out of the way. Just when I'm touching this, it should be cutting it pretty well. So this is not the best scalpel. It looked like a new one. I'm going to get one that's probably a little bit better. Some that I hide that I just put new blades on. I think... Yeah, it's a little bit better. Okay, so I'm trying to cut around the edge. Now, you know, they can actually do corneal transplants. Remember we said the cornea, it's the only tissue in the body that does not get its oxygen from blood vessels, okay? Which is also where the antibodies and everything are. So I need to look into corneal transplants more to see. I know, I mean, when people get different organs transplanted, the body can end up rejecting that. Okay, uh, I don't know how much the body rejects a cornea. If someone gets a corneal transplant, uh, I don't know because uh, without blood vessels there, it's not as much antibodies. So, okay, that's coming better now. Back to the sharper part of it. I'm gonna get my fingers kind of close there, so I'm gonna use forceps. Commonly called tweezers, we'll call them forceps, all right? Do 
usually the tip of the scalpel is one of the sharper parts, but it's uh, after it's been used several times. But this one is not all that sharp, and the sharper part seems to be down on this more flatter part of the blade. Okay, this is the cornea, okay? And I cut that out. Okay? Here's the white part of the eye, the sclera. The colored black part in here that you see is the iris, okay? The space between the iris that you don't see that great is the, uh, uh, the space between the iris is the pupil, okay? Here's the, look, I'm just, I'm pressing on the back of this eye. This fluid in the, this fluid here, first of all, is aqueous humor. It's in front of the lens, behind the cornea, okay? And as I'm just pressing on the back of it there, you will see clear gel in there in a second. It's kind of coming out. I'm, this is really, really gross, but so I'm pushing some of this old stuff out. I'm trying to find the lens. It's that disintegrated. Wow. Okay. I'm just going to slice this in half now. Okay. I'm just going to slice this in half now. Well, we don't want to push on the scalpel too much. These go dull pretty quick if you're not using those, or if you use them a few times. That's why we have a whole bunch of blades to replace it, okay? That is not good. I'm going to cut my fingers off accidentally doing that. So I'm going to use the scissors to cut through here and cut through it. Oh, look at this right here. See this back of the, this this piece right here? Let me get a straight edge probe and point to it. See this part right here is the uh, remaining part of the optic nerve. It was a big long thing coming out of it. They cut it off right here. Okay. So this is going into the back of the eyeball, and all of the photoreceptor cells are coming out from here. Okay. Go with tracking up to the brain. Vision tracking up to the brain. Like I said, if you got something in your eye and it hurts. Man, the eye is really, really, really sensitive. It needs to be. It's a very delicate tissue. We want it to be sensitive. If we've got a thing in it, we've got to get it out. But that's another nerve that's being stimulated. It's not the optic nerve. Okay. Okay. So I'm cutting this in half. Ooh, there's the, there's the lens in there. It didn't come popping out because this is old. That's an old, old lens. It almost feels kind of like a super ball, but it looks like I cut that into pieces here. Oh, look at this. Okay. So, uh, oh, now here we go. Here's the lens. Look at that cute little lens. And I cut part of it off. And get some of the nasty tissue off from around it. stuff on it okay. but this was the lens of the eye hmm Do notice it kind of came out fairly easily there aren't a bunch of fi there aren't real strong fibers hooking it onto the suspensory ligaments it just helps to adjust it a little bit okay as we're looking in the eye this looks really really gross this kind of uh, dried up some but uh, look at this look at this when I mentioned the trash bag lining the inside of the trash can watch how easily this retina this is the retina that I have a grip on it's gonna pretty easily come out I'm not gonna give it too much force there just some but it's it's coming on out it's just a thin little membrane there it contains rods and cones Pause. Okay, as you can see in this other part of the eye, the other half, um, I'm tugging on, lightly tugging on the retina. Okay, and you, there's just, there's not fibers connecting it to, to the choroid coat. Okay, the choroid coat is this, this middle tunic, the middle section here. Okay, the retina is, this retina is the thin membrane uh, right around it. Okay, the outer part. The, the outer tunic is, is, is the sclera, the white of the eye, okay? Um, all right, I'm going to tug on the retina a little bit more. So if there's a tear in the retina, which if you are farsighted, no, 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 I'm sorry. If you, yeah, if you're farsighted, 
which means you can see far away pretty decent, but you can't see close up, okay? Um, you, if that eyeball is a little longer, it's more likely there's a tear in this retina. There's the, there can be a tear in the retina, and the vitreous humor seep behind that and dislodge the retina, okay? So basically, we pulled this retina out, or we detached the retina, okay? So that, that can happen to people if they get uh, hit in the side of the head. Uh, this is part of the retina also. You can see um, just how shiny this thing is. Uh, like I said, rods and cones attached to that. All right, um, and the rest of this eyeball, it's, it's pretty stiff, and uh, that's, that's all, folks.